our current uh, decade has been dubbed the social media revolution. And obviously social media has uh, pervaded into every aspect of our life. Even our grandparents are utilizing social media these days. Obviously what extends from that is that social media can have, a, can have a great impact upon an employer's business, both negatively and positively. One of the negative aspects of social media is that employees can cause great damage to an employer's reputation through, its, through their online interaction with other individuals, even in the private sphere. In South Africa, many employees feel that they have the absolute right to freedom of expression or opinion. However, this right is limited by the Constitution itself and must be weighed against a number of factors, including the right to human dignity and freedom. The Constitution also doesn't allow you to advocate hatred. And as such, things like racism and threats of violence will never be condoned in a South African constitutional society. One of the cornerstones of the employment relationship is the duty of good faith that an employee owes to an employer. This includes the duty to retain the employee's reputation whilst engaged in online activity. As such, an employee may not post anything that is disparaging of a customer, is racist or contains threats of violence, as ultimately this will lead to reputational harm to an employer. Whilst it has not been tested in South African law, ultimately an employer may be held liable for the actions of its employees committed during the course and scope of employment through the principle of vicarious liability. A case on point is one that, happened, that occurred in the UK where employees posted derogatory comments about another employee during working hours on his Facebook page. The courts in that case ordered the employer to compensate the affected employee. It is highly recommended that companies utilize social media guidelines and policies in respect of employees' use of social media, both in the business sphere and private sphere, in order to avoid and reduce the risk of reputational harm to the business.